am I the asshole for laughing and saying sounds about right when my brother and sister-in-law told me how exhausted they are with my out of control niece. My brother Ron and sister-in-law Jen have spoiled their daughter Alice. I'm assuming since there's quotation marks involved here, those aren't the real names. Have spoiled their daughter Alice rotten since she was a newborn. Since Alice was a toddler, everyone in the family has told Ron and Jen they need to teach Alice boundaries, but they insist they're the ones in charge of Alice. I often babysat Alice when she was young. I would tell Ron and Jen that Alice was not behaving, and they would respond by shaming me for not getting Alice exactly what she wanted or pushing her so hard because I told her to pick up the toys she threw on the floor. Note, Alice was seven when this happened. Eventually, I refused to babysit Alice, and they insist I was being a bad aunt because I was expecting so many adult things from a bebe. Ron and Jen did all of Alice's homework and class projects for her. Oof. They frantically called me one night because the math tutor canceled and Alice's homework had a pre-calculus question that they weren't sure how to do the work for. I sent them the work for it that one time, but after that, I would refuse to. Alice is now 17 and completely out of control. She screams, curses, and flips off her parents until she gets her own way. She has unlicensed and dented Ron's car several times when stealing it for joy rides. She has stolen both Ron and Jen's wallets for shopping sprees. They have caught Alice partying, drinking, vaping, and sneaking out to boys' houses. She has gotten even worse since her junior year. Ron and Jen still do her projects and pay others to do them, but the material is now too specific for Ron and Jen to understand without class notes, which Alice isn't taking for them. Alice did not pass her junior year, and she is angry because now all her friends are doing senior things that she can't join in on. Ron and Jen called me the other night to tell me how exhausted they were because Alice was illegally driving again, and they had to beg an officer not to send Alice to juvie. They talked about how wild all teens are, and they're not sure where their sweet little girl went. I thought that last part was a joke, and a laugh slipped out before I could stop myself. Ron got angry and asked what I thought was funny. I apologized for laughing, but I responded that Alice's behavior sounded about right. Because did they expect Alice to just magically become responsible and well-behaved when they have always rewarded her bad behavior? Ron and Jen started to yell at me, but I hung up. Many of my friends and family members said Ron and Jen are only angry because they didn't like hearing the truth. But most of the family is saying I have no idea how hard it is to be a parent much less have a child like Alice. And even though the laugh slipped, I was cruel to respond to Ron and Jen that way, knowing how exhausted they are. Now I'm conflicted about if I was being a dick to my exhausted brother and his sister-in-law. Am I the asshole? You could be the asshole and still be right. You might have had asshole timing, but not wrong. Yeah, obviously the kid's out of control. Obviously it's the parents' fault. Obviously they didn't want to hear it. And obviously they're not going to react well to you saying it. All of these are very obvious things. Surely someone else has said this to them before, right? Yeah, the original poster says that several people have told them that they need to teach her to not be a shit stick. But they obviously didn't listen, and they're obviously not going to listen now. So this is one of those situations where you just have to keep your mouth shut. It's weird that they called just to tell you how exhausted they were, because that, what is that, a pity-seeking phone call? I don't understand. I don't understand that. But you know what? If they're going to make the effort to call and seek your pity because of shit that they got themselves into, yeah, fucking laugh. Laugh. I'd laugh. Mute the phone if you're going to laugh. I probably would have just not answered the phone in the first place. Reddit's verdict was not the a-hole, and I disagree. You're the asshole for saying it, but you're not wrong. It doesn't mean that you're wrong. You're just the asshole for saying it to people who clearly aren't going to listen and who are clearly going to perceive you as the asshole. You knew that already and still went ahead and said it. And I think that makes you the asshole, but it doesn't make you wrong. And you know what? Maybe being the asshole is the right move here. I don't know. But it was an asshole thing to say because you already knew what was going to happen. Doesn't make you wrong.